Cover-ups, the robes, <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Take well, off your purple one. Okay. Look at those curls. <laughs> We'll be right back. We're gonna go get some shots of the guys, and then we'll come back, and then it's like a mess. This is so cute. We'll get soft makeup. I'm just gonna do lipstick, but how? All right, I think it's cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got your ads on? That's what we were doing. Oh, do you do you have them? Did she give them to you? She gave them to you. Why you learn? These are dads, and I'm gonna look super silly with them, but hey, you can kill me. It's fine. We're gonna do that. Do you have that? So I told you yesterday, so there's no more. Here you go. I think you're nice. Yeah. Thanks. I'm trying to look smart. If this could pay my bills, I'd do it all the time. I know, I know. It's a passion. How does that feel? It's really good. It's fine. Let me see it on the room while I enjoy it. Well, at least there's like this right. one. Well, like, she comes down like, just like tap. I thought about it. We got a videographer right here. I know, right? I'll put hand in the lunches. And she had some extra eucalyptus, and she's like, keep on shifting. Take them all. Good. And then um, I'll have everyone take one step forward. And then I'll have the ladies, the two on the end, just gonna come a little bit forward okay. for me, kind of make them a little like half circle here. Yeah, probably. Great. Right. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have everybody looking at my camera. My son's getting like different angles and side angles, so everyone's always looking at my camera. Okay. Um, so let me just get a little test shot here to start. Okay, and one, two, three. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that looks so good. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Good. I'm gonna get one more. I'm still looking at the camera. So I'm gonna get a little bit more of your dress in there. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't even see. It. I don't even know I'm here. Did Brady purposely leave a mess up? Oh. Yeah. Then we get. Is he? Is he straight up? Oh. Okay. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta touch big toes. Come here. Oh, that's perfect. Big toes. Get out of your that's way.
Door locked? Yes. Dang! That was locked. Oh, no, 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 oh. let me just turn this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I needed that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Girls can get changed into their dresses and help you then can get into yours. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Lipstick. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you want to do that now? I can do that. Older, that looks really nice. Aww. Also, pictures. It's like it's hard to tell with the like. <laughs> you can't tell through the hair. Yeah, yeah. no, it just you. No, I know. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Put your hands up top again. Guys, we're just going No, you're good. You got waterproof, right? No. Oh my goodness. You are good to go. Step <laughs> your <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a picture. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's so good.
Well, good afternoon. On behalf of Nelson and Haley, let me welcome all of you to this very special time of worship as we celebrate the joining of two individual lives into one. As this is a time of worship, let's invite the Lord to be with us as we gather today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for these two lives. Thank you for these two precious friends. Thank you for the privilege that we have had of being able to know them for many years. And God, we thank you that you have, in your kindness and grace and mercy and providence, brought these two lives together. Father, we are so thankful for Nelson and Haley. We're thankful for the lives of commitment to you that they've lived up to this point. And now, God, as they join their two lives into one, let us stand as witnesses, celebrating all that this day represents. Thank you for the families that are represented. Thank you for all the people that have gathered here today. And God, would you let this time of worship be focused not only on Nelson and Haley and their love for each other, but even more than that, on your love for us that you showed us in sending Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you, God, for this moment that we have in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. The Lord established the institution of marriage, so we look to his word, which says it is for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. With those thoughts and that scripture in mind, I ask, who gives this young lady's hand in marriage? Her mother and I. We made it. (laughs) We're here. Can I just say on behalf of all of the people that are seated out there, thank you for not having an outdoor wedding today. (laughs) We really do appreciate it. (laughs) Guys, I am just so thankful and so grateful. It is a great privilege for me to stand here in this place with the two of you. Uh, The fact that you have loved each other the way that you have and will continue to love each other in the uh, establishment of your relationship What a beautiful thing that is. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's a great joy. It also takes some work. We've talked about that a little bit, haven't we? Sometimes it's not always easy, but it is beautiful. It is exactly what it needs to be. Sometimes you love marriage, and sometimes you endure marriage. Sometimes you say, we're going to go through this together because God put us together. And our commitment to the Lord and our commitment to one another is what is going to hold us through these times. I've, ta- I've shared with you that probably the greatest value and the greatest thing that you can have in your marriage is communication, and then some more communication, and then after that, communicate. It's really good when you talk to each other. Share your lives with each other. Share the good things. Share the bad things. Share the wonderful things. Share the hard things. I have loved the time that we've gotten to spend together. Just being able to share our lives together and to get to know the the two of you a little bit better. I remember the session particularly where you talked about what you love about each other. I wrote down a few of those things. You said that you love about about each other, both of you said, that that you were already friends. Can I tell you something? That is a great, great quality. Because you know who you're marrying today? Your best friend. She'll always be there. He'll always be there. You can always count on your best friend. Marriage is beautiful when it happens between two wonderfully best friends. You both mentioned that you're selfless. You said that about each other. Thankfully, you didn't say it about yourself. (laughs) But you both said, he's selfless. She's selfless. Do you know what? That will carry you so far in your marriage. Because the way that you serve one another will be something that you will look back on for years to come. You both mentioned that you care for other people. One of the beautiful expressions of your love for each other in your marriage will be your love for others. Celebrate that, embrace it, and encourage it in one another. You said that you're naturally beautiful. Well, actually, Nelson, you said that about Haley. 
And I'll tell you, that natural beauty will be something that's very, very helpful going forward. It's a wonderful thing to have a beautiful wife. You said that one of the things you loved about each other was your cooking. Well, actually, Haley, you said that about Nelson. (laughs) Because in your words, a hangry Haley isn't a pretty Haley. (laughs) Nelson, you said that you love that she laughs with you. Again, speaking for everyone here, it is a good thing that she laughs at your jokes. (laughs) And Haley, you said about him that you loved his confidence. I thought it was interesting that the story that came out of that was because on the night that you two kind of really started looking at each other, you were helping him to ask another girl out. (laughs) Once again, on behalf of everyone here, we're really glad that relationship didn't work out (laughs) and this one did. But most of all, the thing that you said about one another, the thing that you said about your own lives, and the thing that you said about the life that you have going forward is that you both love Jesus. You both have a relationship with Christ. You both know Christ as your Savior. That will be the foundation of your marriage. It's not a mistake that when Jesus describes the church, when the Bible describes the church, it describes it in the form of marriage. This Christ is our groom and the church is the bridegroom. It's no mistake because that relationship is not always perfect on our end, but it's always perfect on his end. It's full of grace. It's full of love. It's full of mercy. It's full of forgiveness. And marriage should be about those things as well. Your relationship with Christ and the fact that both of you Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior will be the thing that will carry you through most of the days of your marriage. Stand on that foundation. Nelson and Haley, today you have come signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage, realizing, therefore, the sacredness and sanctity of the holy covenant that you now make with one another. If you know of no barrier keeping you from entering this holy covenant, will you face each other, join hands, and make these commitments. Do you, Nelson, take Haley to be your wife, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, for better or worse, in sadness and in joy, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Haley, take Nelson to be your husband, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health for richer or poorer, for better or worse, in sadness and joy, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. Can I have the rings? It's a Christian custom to exchange rings as a symbol of love. The rings are a complete circle, having no beginning and no end. Your love should have no end as well. The rings are traditionally made of gold, symbolizing purity. Your marriage should be a pure covenant relationship. As often as you see these rings, let them be a reminder of this moment and the endless love that you have promised. Let it be a symbol when the world sees these rings on your fingers. Let it be a symbol of the bond that you share and the commitment to one another as husband and wife. Nelson, will you take the ring and put it on Haley's finger and repeat after me? Today, Haley, I take you as my wife. Today, Haley, I take you as my wife. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful companion. My faithful companion. And my love from this day forward. And my love for this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful husband. To be your faithful husband. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad times. That was close. (laughs) And in joy as well as in sorrow. And in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you and support you. I promise to love you and support you. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you. 
to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now, Haley, place the ring on Nelson's finger and repeat after me. Today, Nelson, I take you as my husband. Today, Nelson, I take you as my husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful companion. My faithful companion. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful wife. To be your faithful wife. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you and support you. I promise to love you and support you. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much for these two. Thank you for the privilege that we have of being able to stand as witnesses as they have taken these vows. Thank you for the commitments that they have made to one another and to you. And Father, we thank you so much for the love that they have found in each other. We thank you, God, for leading them to this moment. And God, we thank you for the commitments that they have made. May they be long, life-lasting commitments. May they look back on this day and remember the promises that they have made to each other before you and before these friends and family that have gathered here. Father, would you make this marriage the beautiful picture that it is? Father, would you allow them to live out the covenant relationship that you want them to have? And Father, would you protect them? Would you honor them? Would you lead them and allow them to walk in your light all the days of their life? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nelson and Haley have chosen to light a unity candle as part of their wedding ceremony. The two individual candles that have been lit by their parents represent the two individual lives that Nelson and Haley have lived to this point. As they light the unity candle, it represents their lives being joined into one. The extinguishing of the individual candles does not mean that they are ceasing to exist as individuals. Instead, it signifies their commitment to live the rest of their lives in the unity of their marriage. As they light the candle, it would be a great thing for you to take a moment to pray for them in this commitment that they have made. Father, I said till death do us part, I want to mean it with all of my heart. Help me to love you more than I love her, then I know I can love her more than anyone else. And bring her in your presence today And make her what you want her to be I pray to hear her heart I pray she'll love you more I pray to cherish and serve her and will bring you glory today I pray I pray help me to
by the virtue and the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife. No longer two, but one. One in interest, one in destiny, one in love, and one in life. Nelson, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nelson Molnar.
On behalf of Nelson and Haley, let me thank you once again for being here and being a part of this really, really special day. I know that most of you are going to be now going over to the reception in our Family Life Center. That will be diagonally across our parking lot. There is a place to the left of the lobby where we're going to have some appetizers uh, while the wedding party takes uh, some pictures, some final pictures. So once again, thank you for being here. Pray that God will bless us as we continue to celebrate them over the course of the day. You are dismissed.